Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial. So in this tutorial, we are actually implementing the reservations editing. So before we do that, we want to just uh, double click on the list box one in the view reservations that we've done in the previous video because we want to just move this code to a function that we will call. So we're going to create a function private void update for right and it's gonna do this for us and we would just want to call the update form from here and the reason we're doing this because we want the to call this function whenever we finish editing the records right what we want to do now actually is create a new form so right click on the project name click add and select windows 4 and i'm gonna name it edit reservation so I click on this form go to view code and this form is gonna actually take a uh, parameter which is reservation let's call it res right because we want to display the details of this reservation in the edit reservation for so right now we're gonna add a couple of labels text boxes a date time picker and we'll be back all right so this is our form so what we're going to want to do now is go back to the code in the constructor of this class and we want to be using system dot sql client and want to create a connection so SQL connection con is equal to new SQL connection and the connection string is in properties dot resources dot connection string SQL command command that's it and here we're gonna type command is equal to con dot create command so basically what we want to do now is fill the uh, combo box with the available slots right so first of all we're gonna fetch all the slots so we're gonna call the get slots function in the utils class and it returns a dictionary so create a dictionary here for end string gonna name it slots is equal to utils .get slots right so what we're going to want to do is add our command text command that command text is equal to select reservation underscore slot from reservation where the current date where the visit date is equal to our visit date in the res object so where reservation underscore visit underscore date is equal to add date then command the parameters to add with value at date which is res dot visit underscore date dot to string and then we we'll specify our format which is four small y's dash two capital m's dash two small b's right okay so we want to now open our connection so con dot open and con dot close and obviously this is an execute reader so we're going to create sql data reader object reader is equal to command dot execute reader then what we want to do is loop over the rows so while reader dot read we want to remove this slot from the dictionary so slots dot remove and then we're going to give it the key which is actually going to be reader dot get n32 of zero however we don't want to actually remove the current slot i mean the slot of this reservation so in the query i'm going to say where reservation underscore visit underscore date is equal to at date and 
reservation underscore ID not equal. So it's like the smaller sign and then the uh, bigger, bigger than sign or greater than sign. So the reservation ID is not equal at ID. And at ID is the current ID. So command the parameters to add with value at ID and then res dot ID, right? So it's going to actually fetch all these, the other, the other slots, the other occupied slots and on the same day. Okay. So now we want to add these slots to our combo box. So for each key value pair of int and string, then name it slot in slots, then combo box one dot items dot add. We want to add it. We, I want to add the slot, right? And we want to also check if this slot is is actually the current slot. Then we want to just select this index. So if slot is equal equal to res dot slot, then we want to select this index. Then combo box one dot selected item is equal to slot I'm sorry here slot dot where's the slot here slot dot key all right so now we're done with the combo box and the slots let's uh, add the date so date time picker one the value is equal to res dot visit underscore date and then let's fill the other text boxes. So text box one dot text is equal to res dot id dot to string and then text box two dot text is equal to res dot um, patient dot to string and text box three dot text is equal to res dot uh, secretary dot to string and then text box or the text is equal to res dot uh, date dot to string. Oops, equal. Okay, we want to also specify that the uh, date time picker minimum date is today's date because we cannot change the reservation to actually a date in the past. So what we're gonna want to do is type date time picker one dot min date is equal to date time dot today and that's it let's go back to our edit uh, to the design view so what we're going to want to do now is implement the edit reservation button so double click on the edit reservation and what we're going to do is command is equal to con dot create command command dot command text is equal to update then our table which is reservation right set reservation underscore visit underscore date is equal to at visit underscore date and reservation underscore um not and sorry comma reservation underscore visit underscore slot is equal to at slot right I'm gonna call it visit underscore slot to be consistent where reservation underscore ID is equal to at ID command dot parameters dot add with value at ID which is gonna be actually text box one dot text then command dot parameters dot add with value at visit underscore date which is actually gonna be date time picker one the value dot to string and remember the format y y y y dash m m dash d d and then command of parameters dot add with value at visit underscore slot which is gonna actually be combo box one dot selected item but we wanna cast this to we want to cast this actually 
to a razor to a key value pair key value pair of int and string then just put another bracket dot key actually okay so basically this is gonna be an execute non query but first we have to open our connection so conda open and conda close and if command dot execute non query is greater than zero then we're good message box dot show um, reservation was updated else message box dot show failed to update the reservation okay and that's it for updating the reservation let's go back to the reservation double click on the delete reservation and we want to type command is equal to con dot create command and command dot command text is equal to delete from reservation where reservation underscore id is equal to at id command dot parameters dot add with value at id and then con dot open and con dot close Com if command dot execute non query is greater than zero then we're good message box dot show reservation was deleted else message box dot show reservation was or failed to delete the reservation failed to delete the reservation all right Okay, oh, we didn't add the ID. All right, the ID is in text box one.txt actually. Okay, we should be good to go now. Now let's go back to our view reservations. And we want to double click on the edit button. Right, we want to hide this form. We want to create a new instance of the edit reservation. So edit, oops, edit reservation. Edit reservation is equal to new edit reservation and edit reservation dot show dialog and then we're gonna show our dialog at the end. But this takes the uh, current selected reservation, which is actually the selected item in the list box. So we just need to copy this from the update form. And we're gonna paste it here, right? And we just wanna pass this res into our edit reservation form. Okay, so after finishing the, uh, after finishing this actually, we wanna update our list box. So we're gonna call update list, and then we wanna update our form, so I'm gonna go update form as well right you know guys we missed something actually uh, we should we should check for slots whenever we change the date actually because the slots are going to depend on the date so let's go back to our edit reservation we're gonna do small modification here which is actually we're gonna copy all of this to a new function so we'll just cut this from here and create a new function private void update combo right conda close and let's just delete this because we don't want this and after updating the date time picker we want to call the function update combo that we have just created, right? And this update combo 
is not going actually to take the uh, the res visit date. It's going to take the date time picker one dot value dot to string. So it's going to take the date from the date time picker because whenever we change the date time picker, we're going to call this function to get the available slots on that day. And actually, you know what? We're gonna call this function at the end of this code because we're gonna fetch the ID from the text box one, the text. So this ID is gonna be text box one the text. And actually, select the select statement here. It's select reservation underscore visit underscore slot, and we should be good to go. We're gonna also call this function when we change the date. So double click on the uh, date time picker one and just call the function from here. I think I'm missing something. Hmm. Okay, so let's let's pass this function and slot. Okay. Um, let's just make it visit underscore slot. And use this instead of of this one, and we're gonna pass to here the res dot slot. And when we call it again here, we're gonna just give it one and it's it. And we should also clear our combo box right before adding the items into it. So combo box one dot items dot clear. And that's it. Let's now run it. Gonna log in as C creatory and password is one two three. Let's log in. View reservations. We're gonna select 20 November. This is Basil. We're gonna edit this. Alright, so here we have our slots. So if we want to move Basil to November 21. So there's a reservation already on November 21. Yes, it's in slot 10. So we see that slot 10 is occupied. So let's choose slot 5. For example, and let's edit the reservation. Reservation was updated. Cool. Let's close this now. Okay. So let's go to... Let's select a... Uh, 21 right so now we have 21 slot 5 is Basil and slot 10 is Muhammad let's delete Muhammad's appointment so edit Muhammad delete reservation reservation was deleted okay let's close this okay and now we have only Basil we can move him to slot 10 edit reservation reservation was updated Please select reservation so this is good to go you know this message that keep popping up please select reservations that's because we're updating this uh, whenever we update the list box so we can go back to the view reservations and double click on the edit button and just remove update form call from here and it's gonna fix this up so that's it guys for this tutorial and in the upcoming tutorials we will be implementing the doctor panel so until the next tutorial have a good day